Welcome to Mickey Study Circle channel. In this video, we shall see how to do the computer drafting of the development of the lateral surfaces of the solids using the Solid Edge software. In this problem statement, we have a vertical cylinder whose base diameter is 50 mm and axis length is 60 mm and is cut by a two planes which are perpendicular to VP and are inclined to HP at 45 degrees and is passing through the center point of the top face of the cylinder. We need to draw the development of the lateral surface of the cylinder. So now let us see how to draft the solution for this particular problem statement. So let us begin by constructing the reference line that is the XY line. So select a line of thickness 0.18 mm and draw a line of length of any arbitrary length. Now let us select the circle and select the thickness as 0.13. At any arbitrary point, just draw a circle of diameter 50 mm. So this completes the top view of the cylinder. So we know that the top view of the cylinder is nothing but a circle and we do not have any sharp corner points for this geometry. So what we can do is we can consider identifying any eight arbitrary points on the circumference of the circle. So for that, let us draw the horizontal diameter and also the vertical diameter and also the radii at 45 degrees and 135 degrees. Use the extend to next option and extend this vertical diameter and the diameters at 45 and 135 degrees. So now you can see that there are eight arbitrary points on the circumference of the circle. Similarly, we should complete the front view. So for that, draw the projection lines from each of these points and intersect the XY line. So now let us draw the axis of the cylinder, select the axis line. So from the center point, draw the line of length 60 mm and this completes the axis of the cylinder. So now let us complete the front view. So select a continuous line. So on either sides, it will be equal to 25 mm because the diameter is 50 mm. And the center line is going to bisect the cylinder into two halves. So this is the front view of the cylinder. So just extend these projection lines. So these are just for the construction purpose and these are not the actual uh, views. These outer edges are the actual views of the cylinder. So now let us go for annotating the front and the top views. So first let us begin by annotating the top view. So before that let us annotate the reference line as X and Y and also the planes as VP and HP. So we'll start from this point. So this is point A followed by B, C, D, E, F, G and H. So these are the eight points. So now coming to the front view, this is the axis. So this is O and inside the bracket O1, where O is the axis point at the top face and O1 is the axis point at the bottom face. So now we can do the annotation here. So this is O1 dash or O dash. O1 dash is, the, is at the bottom. So this is O dash and this is O1 dash. And also with this, we have got uh, the other edges. So that is uh, the other points that is C dash and inside the bracket G dash. And here also it is C dash inside the bracket it is G dash. So this could be C1 dash and G1 dash. So we are not going to show that annotation in depth here. So we'll just consider these points. So this is D dash and this is F dash and this point is E dash. So this point will be E1 dash and this will be D1 dash and inside the bracket it is F1 dash. Similarly here this will be D1 dash and inside the bracket it will be H1 dash and here this is 
d dash and inside the bracket it is h dash and similarly we have got this point as a dash or a1 dash and this point is a dash so with this we have completed the annotations of the front and the top view of the cylinder so now let us go for constructing the cutting plane so the cutting plane condition is it is passing through the center of the top face so the center of the top face is o dash and the line option again so the cutting plane is in two parts that is one part is moving through this side and the other part is moving through this side so that is two equal halves from the center of the top face which is o dash so now from here let us draw a line incline at an angle of 45 degrees to the top face or it will be equal to minus of 180 plus 45 degrees so this is the inclination so you can just go for the angle between and this angle is 45 degrees so this is the first cutting plane the next cutting plane is from this point towards the right side so the angle will be equal to minus 45 degrees so these are the two cutting planes and this portion of the cylinder is retained and we are going to show the development of that so go for the line option now select a line of thickness 0 0.50 so from this point draw the edges that is visible and uh, the development of the edges that we're going to show on the actual development so this is completely visible and this part is visible and also this entire portion of the cylinder is visible so this is the cutting plane so if you just zoom in you can just see the errors so it should be exactly overlapping on this line so the angle is minus 45 degrees so now just zoom out and then complete the top view so go for the circle ensure the line is thickness 0 0.50 so from the same point draw the circle of diameter 50 mm yes there is a slight variation in the center point so what you can do is just zoom in again go for the center point so you get the point of intersection so from here draw the circle of diameter 50 mm so now it is perfect so this is how you have to use the zoom options to ensure there are no errors so this is point o and o1 we can show it here inside the bracket o1 okay so now we'll go for doing the development so before we start with the development we need to understand how the initial cut section of the cylinder will look so if i just unwrap the cylinder it will be a rectangle and that rectangle will be having a height of 60 mm but what about the width or the uh, length of the rectangle so the length of the rectangle will nothing is nothing but the perimeter of the circle so now go for the line option select a line of thickness 0.5 or uh, 0.13 so with xy line as the reference so at any distance towards the right hand side draw the rectangle whose uh, base will be equal to uh, 22 by 7 that is pi into d so the diameter is 50 mm so this is the actual uh, width of the rectangle or the length of the rectangle and then the height will be equal to 60 mm so again complete this rectangle so let me just select the entire rectangle and move this okay so now it is uh, time for us to divide this rectangle into eight equal parts we have because we have divided the cylinder into eight equal parts like this the circle so for that what we can do is let us just go for the offset option so select uh, the offset option which is here offset select this line and then we need to offset it at a distance of 22 by 7 into okay so for that go for the smart dimension and just measure this it is 157.14 so now go for offset select this entity 
and here in the distance option just enter it as 157.14 divided by 8. So each distance will be equal to 19.64. Correct. So just select this. Go for the offset option. 19.64 in this direction. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So these are the 8 equal parts. So dimension for uh, every offset rectangle will be shown. So select everything at once and then you can delete this. Show the height of the cylinder which is equal to 160 mm. And since we are going to draw the lines from these points, it will ensure that the base of this rectangle and the cylinder are on the same reference line. So this is the initial cut section of the cylinder. So now let us go for annotating the points. So we'll take this. So the cutting pin is intersecting A1 dash A dash at point one, one dash in the front view. Next we have got B1 dash and B dash. It is intersected at the point two dash. Next we have got C dash and C1 dash, which is intersected at the point three. So this is the point three. 3 dash and next we have got b1 dash and d at point 4 so this is 4 dash and similarly this point is 5 dash after e the next letter here is f so this is 6 dash after f we have got the point g which is here and again this becomes 7 dash and similarly this point is 8 dash so these are the 8 points that we need to show here so go for the line of thickness 0.13 so before we draw the projection lines let us annotate this so that there are no confusions so this is a a1 and this point is b and b1 and next we have got the point c and c1 next we have got d and d1 e and e1 F, F1, G and then G1, H, H1. So these are the eight points back to A, A1. So now go for the line option and draw the parallel projection lines. So point one on A, A1 and A, A1 here. So ensure all these lines are zero degree lines. So then the point two, the point two is here. So we'll select the end point and point two is on B, B1. And next on H, H1 is the point six. So this is two and this is six. Similarly, three is on C and then G here. And next we have got uh, three and seven is over. So four is also on uh, D, D1. So this is how we get the points. So we'll go for annotating the points. So this is, 1 this point is 2 and here we have got the point 3 then again on dd1 we have got the point 4 and then ee1 we have got the point uh, 5 which is again on this line itself so this is the point 5 and next we have got the point 6 on ff1 so this is the point 6 and then we have got the point 7 here on g so this is the point 7 and then we've got the point 8 on H, H1 and back to the point 1 on A, A1. So this is the point 1. So now go for the curve option. So uh, select the line of uh, width 0 0.50. So we'll start from 1, 3 and then C3. Okay, this is the point 3. And then from uh, point four will begin. So point four, five. So select the point of intersection six. This is seven. This is eight, and this is one. So select the curve option. So one to H. Then seven here. So this is one point. Then similarly four to. 3, this is the next point. So use the trim option to trim this part. 
So with this, we complete the upper portion. So now show the development of the lower portion. So select the line option of thickness 0 0.50. So complete the base of the cylinder. So this completes the development of the cylinder. So these are the points that we have got. So the point 3 is here. This is the point 2, not the point 3. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 1. So this is the development of the cylinder when it is cut by a cutting plane in such a way that uh, it is passing through the center point of the top face at an angle of 45 degrees on either sides. So you can just show the angle here also. So this is equal to 45 degrees. And then go for the smart dimension, select any one rectangle, and then just show the dimension which is equal to 19.64 so with this we have completed the development of the lateral surface of the cylinder when it is cut by a plane which is inclined at an angle of 45 degrees and passing through the center point on either directions of the cylinder thank you all for watching